you need to know that there are different types of okoko that you may not actually take note of. We just call them okoko. Good day, viewers. My name is uh, Ambassador Owa Imadi, the MD Arose Cultural Hub. Today, I'm here to talk about some things you need to know about Okuku in Benin Kingdom. Okuku is, uh, is a traditional hair gear that mostly the queens in the palace and the, the wives of chiefs put on. The origin of Okuku was actually dated back to the time of Ogiso. During the Ogiso dynasty, uh, 355 BC, uh, but it was actually not made popular by Queen Idia because she was fond of always using a particular type of ukuku, which is the upohoho. Upohoho, and because of that, ukuku have become a royal symbol to the prince and princesses and every other Benin uh, person. There are different types of ukuku. You need to know that there are different types of ukuku that you may not actually take note of. We just call them okuku. There is okuku, a normal okuku that anybody actually, the traditional maybe, that they always put on now, maybe in their marriages and all that. But there is, there is a different one that the, only the, royal, uh, the royalty, as in the princesses and the queens put on. Sometimes you notice a golden uh, uh, stuff that is being chucked in it. That shows that that person is a queen in Benin or a princess from the palace of the Oba of Benin, from the royal family. So now there's another type of okuku which is known as ukbohoho. Ukbohoho is a kind of okuku that is uh, actually uh, our queen mother, uh, the, the great uh, Idian Yes. That was what she was fondly put on, uh, which is uh, ukbohoho. Ukbohoho means the mouth of a fowl, the mount of a fowl. So when you not do it like this now, you will see that it looks like a mount of a fowl. That is why it's called upo, upo ho ho. So bead, from history, uh, bead was actually founded by an Uvotom priestess who brought the bead from the sea and uh, brought it to Benin. And uh, since then, the Benin is known with bead to, that you know royalty, stands for royalty and we need to know who every Benin man, every Benin person is expected to put on bead if he wants to put on bead, he or she wants to put on bead. But there are the type that you need to know that this very person cannot wear, okay? There are bead that, there's one they call a kele. When you say kele, that is the very round one. It's only the Benin chiefs, the Oba, the, Bo the Oba, the Benin chiefs, and the royalty, the prince, and others that can actually put on a kele bead. Then if the other man find you worthy and call you to present a bead to you, you are not fit to wear a kele bead. And there's the one they call Udegwa. That one is a long one. It's a, it's a long one that you see that is very common that the bean is put on.